Hi, this is Sarah with LittleBusOnThePrairie.com. Uh, today I'm going to give you a tour of our 1970 International Double Decker School Bus Conversion that we are planning on living in as we build our house uh, here in San Diego, California. Um, as you can see, the bus towers over our house and our vehicle. Um, here we have the storage box where we are going to be storing all of our um, all of our furniture and belongings as we stay in the bus. <sighs> our neighbors have been um, so grateful to the culture that we have brought to the neighborhood. They're going to be so sad when we finally leave. <laughs> um, all right. So we purchased this bus here locally in San Diego off of Craigslist for the whopping sum of $1,000. Um, when we bought it, it had been sitting for a decade. Uh, so you can see already that it needs a lot of work. Uh, Noah so far has ripped out all of the carpet inside. He's also removed the captain's chair um, to better access the wiring. You can see that. I don't know what's going on there. I have no insight to provide um, as to what you're looking at. It's a mess of wires that control everything. Everything and anything about this bus. Um, anyway, so looking back, this is the back of the bus. Um, as you can see, Noah has ripped out all of the carpet inside. Um, I don't know if you can hear Finn. He's sad that I'm not with him. Um, he's ripped out all of the carpet inside. Uh, it was just a mess and we were planning on installing laminate. Uh, and that is the 10 gallons of paint that we intend on using. Um, the bus, the laminate, the paint, everything has been obtained off of Craigslist for amazing good deals. Um, so, thank you, Craigslist. We love you. So, a lot of the cupboards have been removed, and uh, uh, this space was already nice and open. We're going to have a futon. This is going to be the living room. Here are a lot of the cupboard doors that are going to be painted. That's going to be my job. I have not really contributed anything to this project so far uh, in the way of carpentry or physical labor. I've been the one finding the Craigslist deals and of course blogging about the adventure, but Noah has really um, just been working so hard and he's been doing such an amazing job of getting this all set up for us. Um, anyway, as we walk back, this is the kitchen. Obviously one of the advantages of having a double decker bus is that uh, the sleeping arrangements are all on the top floor which leaves a lot more room for storage and for full-size appliances. Um, in the in the vehicle. So here we have uh, the oven, which is just a I think it's just an RV oven. Obviously needs a lot of cleaning to be done. Still kind of gross. And if we turn around, you can see there is a full-size sink though. Nice porcelain sink very excited about that and then below um, all this needs to just be really scrubbed down so far we've um, bleached out and cleaned when I say we of course I mean Noah the top floor um, and the bottom floor is the next step and then after that floors and paint here is the fridge just a standard RV fridge um, there's the ladder that we will be using to go up into the top floor. Sorry, I hope I'm not making anybody sick. Obviously an amateur. <laughs> Here's more storage inside and we will be working our way to the bathroom. Um, so here is the bathroom. Hi. Nice mirror and 
more storage inside. Regular sink down below. Um, I'm going to be adding shelf paper and all that. The medicine cabinet. And then turning to the other side. This is the full size cast iron bathtub. Just needs a little rust oleum. No leaks, no cracks. Um, and in the shower, Noah is thrilled um, that he will be able to fit his six foot, one inch tall frame into a regular size um, shower and not have to crouch inside a RV stall. And then here's the toilet, regular full size toilet. So awesome. All right. And then this is um, where we think the original owners had a washer and dryer, um, which would be super convenient. This wall, uh, Noah just recently replaced. Uh, this was where the RAT was found. And he um, has since replaced the wall and installed an access door in case there are any other leaks in, the, in those pipes. Um, it'll be a lot easier to get to them instead of having to tear down the wall every time. So, now I will show you the second story.